Dana Batenhorst, number 30, forward. Jaylee Adams Tolls, number 24, post. Rebecca Hazlitt, number 21, guard. Addie Duransky, number 31, guard. All right, ladies, week three of practice and getting ready for a game in a few days. Just kind of what's uh, what's the feeling like with this group? Where are you guys at in terms of being ready? And what are you, what are you looking forward to this week? Well, I think we just keep getting better and better. So it's really good that we keep improving and getting ready for the game. I think we're all really excited to be able to play too. Just like even with COVID and everything, being able, to, just being able to. Um, I think we're very comfortable with each other and know what we all need to do to improve the team since we've all played together last year as well. I think we're better prepared mainly because of the fact that we just have a stronger team in the street this year. Yeah, Elena, the, what do you think is the story of this group? How are you guys going to win games? Are you going to be an offensive group, a defensive group? Kind of what's the identity of this year? For the most part, I'd probably say we're more offensive, basically just because we're as post, especially, we're working on getting the ball out to get more open shots. Defensively, we're getting there. Julie, how much are you, players like you and Elena, going to play more of a bigger role this year? I know uh, Dave's kind of stressing to your guards to get the ball inside more. Just how excited are you to, to maybe get more chances this season? Um, I de for me, I definitely have to post up longer so the guard can pass it in quicker. Um, it's going to be a challenge, but I Becca, what about uh, defensively? You guys have kind of had that identity for a long time. How much is coach stress and uh, finding wins with uh, your defense? Um, we've been working on defense quite a bit, yeah. Um, trying to incorporate in every drill defense and offense and just push like both sides of it, not just let it be an offensive drill, but make sure that you get your defensive work in it. And I think that'll help us um, find success on the defensive side of the court. Eddie, what do you think? Uh, just the, the, the way you guys are going to win games this year, um, going to have to score more points, get more stops. What does it feel like is the, the thing you guys do best? Um, well, I think, especially for guards, I think we're really good at uh, staying down on defense and being ready for them to drive. But uh, just got to work on ball handling and step up with that since we lost the major ball handler last year. Just everybody has to be ready to do their part. What, uh, what do you guys want to achieve this you're talking about having a winning record or a certain number of wins or kind of what do you see as a successful season probably just beating our record from last year especially since we're more of a class a you know, tougher teams how much have you guys worked on ball handling and just taking care of the ball better turnovers were such a uh, problem for you guys last year just how much has that been a focus also Usually at the beginning of every practice, we split up guards and posts, and in the guard work, we incorporate a lot of different ball handling skills. How many girls do you guys feel like have an opportunity to to play in the rotation this year? What are the, what are the numbers look like so far? Uh, there's, there's 11 girls on the varsity lineup, and I think that all of us can work really well uh, on the team, so we'll just have to see. Yeah, we're all returning players, so we've all experience the lights on the court so i think that'll really help with the pressure i feel like you guys can can pick it up and just kind of start off better than than you did last last year took a few games kind of to get going and it's kind of been the the story the last couple of years in, in games or the season just took a little and i know you guys have a tough record and everything but just feel like you're more ready to to win right off the bat this year You guys expand on that? <laughs> uh, well, we've been like the last parts of practice, we've just been doing a lot more just like game like situations or like live stuff, which is really helping us get back into the game. Any uh, particular game or stretch of games that you guys think is a good measuring stick or what you're looking forward to this year? Uh, well, we don't really play a lot of class A teams, so I guess it's no, just really. we don't know what to expect with a lot of them. So just got to be ready for anything. Just how excited are you guys to get going Thursday with as much uncertainty you've had this year? I know some of you have played softball and, and volleyball and everything else. Just so you got through one season, I'm sure they're just worry again. Who knows? Just how excited are you to get going Thursday? Very excited. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just ready to go. Yeah. We're excited to see what you guys do this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.